Hi everyone, today we had the protest at the Black Lives Matter protest in Montreal. It's uh, condemning racism and police brutality. So we're going to ask a couple of questions at the protester. So why are you here today? We're here in the streets of Montreal to voice our concern, to voice our frustration. This is not a festival, this is not a celebration. You know, we're here to tell the world the issues that we're enduring every day of our life here. And this should go on. Every week we're going to be here, every day if it has to, we're going to be here and come back and voice our frustration to the world. I really think that in order to make changes, we need to be vocal about it. And obviously, if we start being violent, we're giving the police and everybody else a reason to hate us and to treat us like shit again. So we really need to just keep being very, very loud. Um, and people, people can think that just protesting or just being in the street and screaming is nothing. But I really think that they're going to get tired eventually. And there's a lot of us joining the protests, a lot of us um, acknowledging the actual issues that are going on. So with the more of us being loud and complaining, um, it's, it's bound to make a change. Our ancestors, ancestors, sorry, they fought for this. And here we are in 2020, and we're still fighting for this. I think it's ridiculous because, you know, like, through the years we progress, but like, it's still a setback that they're still killing us.
it's very important for us as non-black people to show our support for uh, for uh, black citizens here in Montreal, for our black brothers and sisters. Yep. Do you think Quebec is a racist place? Of course I do. <laughs> well, uh, if if you have heard the news recently, uh, the Prime Minister of Quebec has said that there is no systemic racism in Quebec. And if there is systemic racism everywhere else, I don't see why Quebec would be exempt of that. So, of course, Quebec is a racist place, but unfortunately, they hide it uh, behind the, their, their national, uh, their, their quest for their national identity. Because uh, in Quebec, Quebec has been uh, oppressed by uh, the English majority. Historically, here in, uh, in Quebec, they have been oppressed by the English majority, but just because you've been oppressed doesn't mean that you can't oppress other people. And that's what's happening right now. They're oppressing mostly black people and of course indigenous, indigenous people and other, black, uh, other people of color too. suffering from every generation of Africans and black people, Latinos. This is, I think, to happen like almost 400 years. And it's nice to see everybody together. And like everybody said, there's no place for murderers also. Yeah. As a black person, it's like, I have, we have to like come together as a community and then bring out this important topic because it's been happening for so long. So, um, yeah, not the best, like, under pressure, but, um, yeah. <laughs> racism in Quebec. I mean, 
It might not be as obvious as in the United States, but it still exists. And racial profiling is a thing, definitely. And I guess Legault should just wake up and, you know, stop living in his bubble. I have to say, you know what, it wasn't hard to mobilize the people for this because it's something that speaks to everybody. Um, we're just the ones that, that took the, the lead and the initiative to coordinate and put it together, but it's, we're doing it for the people. Like, and this is something that the people wanted, people were demanding. So it is just us as an organization, it was, as, as, it was to take the responsibility of doing this. So what is the name of your organization? So this is the Black Coalition New Generation. All right, so Black Coalition, New Generation, and we're really here to fight for the youth. But the idea is really to show that our, like the, the purpose of this march today was really just to unite the people and to show that we are one people, we're united people, and we're all, like, enough is enough. Like, we're tired of the racism, we're tired of the injustice, and we're putting an end to it now. Today we are in downtown Montreal. We are at the anti-racist and anti-police brutality protest, which uh, a lot of people gathered. Uh, just tons of people, thousands and thousands. That's probably the biggest march since the climate march, maybe even bigger than that. You can see all kinds of people, all kinds of races and colors, all kinds of uh, art people brought with them and slogans, people screaming, people want to voice their opinions. They're tired of racism, they're tired of police oppression. They want change, people want change. This generation wants change. So it was nice to be a part of it and we hope to see, we hope it's going to go peaceful just like how it was. So now that it was, it's officially ended, but we'll see what's going to happen at night.